Hello everyone, this is Justin Vaughn with Miramed Global Services. Our article today is entitled, The Top 10 Biggest Patient Safety Concerns. Let's begin. Safety first. That's the mantra of many institutions and factories and organizations across the country. Wear your hard hat and your harness. Bend at the knees and put on your goggles. Follow the safety guidelines, even if it creates a little inconvenience in the short term. After all, it's the long term these industries are concerned with. They know that certain injuries will create greater slowdowns in productivity, not to mention expensive workers' comp claims or lawsuits. The healthcare industry is preeminently concerned about safety as a mistake in this sector will clearly lead to poor patient outcomes, adverse events, and even death. It is no wonder then that health-related organizations such as ECRI have focused on patient safety issues for decades. Back in the 1960s, its founder patented and implemented the crash cart concept after watching a young child die due to a malfunctioning defibrillator. In keeping with its ongoing mission, the nonprofit firm released this month its top 10 list of patient safety concerns. The items making the list were derived from its database of adverse events as well as discussions with other industry leaders. While we cannot independently verify the statistical reliability of the ECRI list, we nevertheless thought you might find the list interesting and perhaps even helpful as you update your own facility's safety protocols. The ECRI's list of patient safety concerns for 2021, listed in order of ranking, are provided in bold below with our commentary following each. First, racial and ethnic disparities in healthcare. According to the ECRI findings, and I think we'll just change ECRI to ECRI to make it easier to say, there may be racial or ethnic disparities that exist in the healthcare sector that may include frequency of screening for COVID-19 or other diagnoses, disease severity, complications, and deaths. As an example that may act to support this finding, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control Control and Prevention, or the CDC, has suggested that Hispanics are three times more likely to be hospitalized and twice as likely to die from COVID-19 as non-Hispanic Caucasians. Second, emergency preparedness and response in aging services. With over 570,000 confirmed cases and 112,000 reported COVID-related deaths occurring in nursing homes as of February 1, 2021, there's no doubt that finding new and innovative ways to protect our most vulnerable seniors must be a top priority. Number three, pandemic preparedness across the health system. For years, government studies indicated that the U.S. healthcare system would be woefully unprepared for a fast-moving infectious disease outbreak. That proved to be the case with the rapid spread of the novel coronavirus beginning in early 2020. While we have learned a great deal in addressing this kind of virus, there is still a concern about new variants of COVID-19 and perhaps other contagions that may come along in the near future. Will we be any better prepared to tackle the next pandemic? Next, supply chain interruptions. According to ECRI, limits on exports in addition to lockdowns in countries that manufacture and produce raw materials have resulted in delays of essential supplies. Let's face it, without certain supplies, hospitals cannot effectively operate. Dealing with the supply chain interruptions during the pandemic is nothing new, but it continues. Has your hospital kept abreast of the items that are currently in or likely to be in short supply? 
Have you identified alternate avenues of gaining such supplies? Supply chain management remains a top priority, and hospital administrators would do well to have extended and recurring meetings with those in charge of procuring these essentials. Next, drug shortages. The pandemic has led to shortages in almost every drug class used for mechanical ventilation, according to the ECRI researchers. Like the supply chain issue mentioned immediately above, a shortfall in on-hand vital medications can undercut the hospital's ability to successfully treat the infirmed. The pipeline of essential drugs must be closely monitored and strategies for securing these drugs to the extent possible must remain a top priority. Next, telehealth workflow challenges. As we've reported in the past, telehealth is here to stay, but it is not without its problems. Whenever ECRI received adverse reports in this area of medicine, it found that poor Wi-Fi, inappropriate monitoring, inadequate language services, and health privacy issues were among the contributing factors. As we all know, technology is great when it works. The challenge for hospital IT staffs will continue to be making enhancements and capabilities while continuing the fight against bad actors, i.e. hackers. The next safety concern is improvised use of medical devices. According to the ECRI study, modifying certain devices, workflows, or systems may lead to serious safety and regulatory compliance issues. Established protocols should be followed and facilities may want to consider strengthening their response to usages that fall outside such protocol, protocols to include disciplinary measures where appropriate. The eighth safety concern listed, methotrexate therapy. The weekly administration of this cancer and autoimmune drug can lead to dosing and dose frequency errors according to the study. Hospitals should accordingly consider creating a or tightening protocols for the administration of this drug to perhaps include digital alerts prior to administrations where that functionality is available. The last two safety concerns listed by ECRI are peripheral vascular harm and infection risk from aerosol generating procedures. This latter concern is important to note because it's been determined that exposure risk from performing aerosol generating procedures on suspected COVID-19 patients is actually very high. That concludes the top 10 list that ECRI put together. But in conjunction with safety uh, with Patient Safety Awareness Week, again, let me say that again, in conjunction with Patient Safety Awareness Week, March 14 through 20, ECRI will be hosting a Top 10 Patient Safety Concerns webinar uh, this Thursday, March 18. It is our understanding that this will be at no cost and will give hospital executives an opportunity to learn more about these issues. If you have questions for us, you can reach us at info at miramedgs.com. If you want to attend the webinar, if you've heard this podcast early enough to attend the webinar uh, on Thursday the 18th, then you can go to our Miramed website, look at the communications section, then the e-alert section, and then you can go to this particular article that we've talked about today at the very bottom of that article, you will see a link that you can click to register for the webinar. Thank you so much.